Oklahoma is without a doubt a football state, but a young college tennis coach is proving our state has an appetite for his sport as well. Chris Young is a Cherokee Nation citizen and leading a tennis revolution at Oklahoma State University. Yeah, it's, it's definitely nice to have office here to have the view just on a daily basis to look out there and uh, it's pretty inspiring. My name is Chris Young and I'm the Director of Tennis and Head Women's Tennis Coach at Oklahoma State University. My grandparents were in Fort Gibson. My great-grandmother was Granny Young to me. She's someone that I got to spend a lot of time with from an early young age. My parents would take me out there to her area just outside Tahlequah. I remember as a child being uh, really engrossed in the Cherokee culture from that with my great-grandmother. It was something that was a really big part of her life. Growing up and growing up in a family um, that moved around a lot and it wasn't a situation where we were very affluent so uh, tennis was something you know as I began to play I really just had to do on my own. Um, I played all different sports growing up. had a knee injury and they thought it'd be good for me to do some different footwork and so they put me on a tennis court and it was something where my parents would drop me off at the park in Norman and I would just play with anybody that wanted to play against me. I didn't have a lot of uh, coaching and a lot of you know one-on-one -on -one time with coaches. I felt like it really wasn't until college and beyond where I really started improving to the level that uh, maybe some of my peers had. Got a tennis scholarship at Lipscomb University in Nashville, Tennessee. Back at home, Oklahoma Christian was a school that had recruited me a lot and so I decided that I would make the move there. I got a great experience there, a great education. Our tennis program was ranked top five every year that I was there in the country. Our highest finish was third. So I graduated from Oklahoma Christian in uh, December of 2000. I finished my playing career in 1999. My coaching career really began the year after that I started, I finished playing. Okay, good. But try, try just getting it a little bit more over your head, see if you can like really get that kick out wide. There it is. When I left Wichita State to come to Oklahoma State, there's a lot of people that told me not to take the job, that people in Oklahoma don't care about tennis, people at Oklahoma State don't care about tennis, there's no facility for you to train at. Why would you go to a place that doesn't really care? They were thinking about cutting the tennis program here. Um, they had a lot of things that had happened and just not a lot of success on the women's side uh, in recent years. You know, I think everybody can get a chip on their shoulder or find a challenge when people tell you not to do something or it can't be done. And so when I came here seven years ago, it was the ultimate challenge. In our state, obviously football is, is king in a lot of ways. Being an Oklahoman, I wanted to come back and help tennis in our state. I wanted to prove that Oklahoma tennis was something special, that people here could care about tennis, they could get passionate about a good product. And, you know, as an Oklahoman, I had a passion and a drive to come here and to do something special in my home state. I wanted to do something that people thought was impossible. You know, I think there's very few opportunities in life where people tell you it can't be done and you get to start from scratch. And to do it in, a, in your home state and around people that you know and that care about you. When I came here, the program really didn't have uh, a lot. We didn't have a facility. We didn't have a national ranking in the top 75. We had uh, losing records. I think we had a lot of challenges and adversity that we faced throughout the year. So it was a big accomplishment for us to get to the point where we continued to break down barriers. And this season, we took it all the way to the national championship. We knew that the final 16 and beyond was going to be in Tulsa this year. A lot of things could happen in a very special way. And it just seemed like everything came together at the right time. And we took on Georgia in the first round. We played really well against them and then moved on to the quarterfinals against Ohio State and won that match and then beat the number one team in the country, Cal, in the semifinals. And then we're able to play Stanford, which is the historically uh, great power in college tennis in the national final. So we lost to them 4-3 in a dramatic match, but you know, for us to be able to play in a national championship is the highest finish for any women's sports team at Oklahoma State in the history, not just the tennis program, but the athletic department overall.
Yeah, I think there's so many things about the national championship match as you, you know, you think about it. It was, I think, a lot of fun for us because people in the college tennis world saw the type of support that we get, not just Oklahoma State, but I think Oklahomans in general. I think it was just uh, kind of a dream season and a dream scenario. When it's your life and you, you put your life work into it and you invest so much into doing something like this to now actually be sitting here every day when I come to work, it's awe-inspiring that anything is possible. If you just have a vision, you work at it, and you sell it, and you believe in it, and you're passionate about it, it's, it's possible.